Why should you start journaling today? Today we're gonna talk about it. Because I'm a Russian man who brings value through my own experiences and I have been learning English for two years and I want to... I want to document my progress, what I've done, what I want to achieve, what uh, should I do next uh, and some of this stuff and I want to share it with my lovely viewer. Hello everybody, hello Christopher, hello Matthew, hello Jackie, hello everybody from another country sent another world. It's so sweet to communicate with you. You can write comments, uh, comments by the way and maybe I will remember, remember and will tell your name in the next time. Okay, right now our talk is about journaling. I have been journaling for five years, but I started it in Russian firstly. I was writing it before like this way. Can you see this? It is Russian language, Russian words. They look... I will switch camera right now. Look. One moment, where is it? Yeah, it's here. It is Russian. Russian language. And you maybe don't understand it. And... Uh, I started uh, doing it uh, in 2015 and first my drafts, first my journal drafts were so not really nice. They were only like a lists of point, 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 point. That's all. You, you've you seen it. It is nothing but only points. But then I started... Uh, uh, before, before, before I was doing uh, th about this, before in 2015 I was doing like a goal setting and it was only points, yes, and uh, like uh, what should I do today, I should do 20 push-ups, yes, uh, 20 push-ups, also need to do maybe doing photography stuff, uh, because I was uh, working as a photographer and videographer, and I was making photos, and I was doing editing of photos and videos, and I was planning like a da daily planning, then I started to do it more in an interesting way. I started to do it uh, in uh, a way what do I want to achieve in a period of time. Like daily, daily goals, monthly goals, one, uh, one uh, year goals, five years goals and goals till the age of 30. And I started to plan them uh, in 2016. He already yet yet already in 2016 already yes and uh, I started it because I was uh, participating in a business forum conference style communication master classes and one dude who was a trainer of uh, soft skills and uh, high growth of your potential of your <laughs> I don't know how to describe it inside of you like your mental attitude things and mindset man he said to us that uh, Brian Tracy said uh, sometimes when you do planning you can uh, you can find a better job, you can uh, do things better, your mind started to be structured and uh, fascinated and it is so nice and to uh, know, know everyone, know like, know anyone, uh, know anyone does it. It means that only a few percent of people do this, like uh, 10% or even 3%. Some people, like 10% of our population, they think about goals. They think about what they want. They th want to achieve it. They do like goal setting inside of their mind. They don't fix it on a paper. And only 3% of people around us, uh, they fix their goals on a paper and they do this in a specific way of smart way, like a specific, measurable, achievable, relatable and time-bounded goals or another types of uh, acronyms. Like I created stupid, it is a squirrel, it should be small as squirrel <laughs> and T it is like uh, something else, U it is underground, you should uh, go for like a, let's crush some 
uh, let's do smoking. I don't propagandic smoking <laughs> and uh, like this. I created this uh, joke in 2017 about uh, goal setting in a way of stupid. S T U P P I D. It is uh, acronym too. And uh, yes, I was doing stuff on journaling from 2015. In 2016, I started uh, to do goal setting in a better way. In 2017, I started to do daily videos in a Russian, not daily, but frequent videos in a Russian language. I started my YouTube channel in a Russian language, I started to speak and I started to create script writers. I started to do script scripts and uh, I started to do this uh, type of writing and uh, making ideas and collecting them, counting them and uh, making like this all stuff on a paper. I started to do this. Then in 2018, 2018, I started this YouTube channel and I started to plan about this channel too. I started to make goals like, where is it? Uh, it is about uh, like, what should I do? One moment, maybe I will find something. Yes, it is here. Look at this. It is. It was on Friday, June, June eighth, eighth of June. I was doing this. You will look at what I was doing. One moment. Look, how was it look like? Yes, I was doing like reading. Let's read something. Let's learn some. English phrases, uh, Deutsch phrases, Turkish language, Malay, Spanish phrases. And uh, I was doing like, I will read right now what I wrote here. Need to learn songs, rap God, lose yourself, monster, I'm not afraid, can't hold us nowhere fast by Eminem and another people. Do push-ups 300 times and I didn't do this. <laughs> Plank 6 minutes, 10 seconds, I didn't do this. But I've made journaling. I was doing just dancing for 45 minutes. Zumba dancing. Tonga twisters in English uh, to improve my things. Uh, yes, also I, I had uh, like a goal to read th 30 pages in English. But I didn't do this because it is hard. 30... No, no, it is not super hard, but uh, it is kind of uh, not super. Uh, it is uh, I 2018. I started only my journey of English and to read 30 pages of English uh, books. It is kind of hard nowadays. I read not super a lot. I read daily in a daily basis, but uh, not like a 50, 60, 70 pages a day. I try to do this. Uh, I want to read more, but sometimes it is kind of boring to me to read in English because I don't understand everything, like everything in this. I understand only a few portion. I understand like fraction of it and uh, small small things and I I understand that my English is improving because of reading by the way 2018 okay I started to continue doing goals even in English and my progress again on this field of journaling has had stopped and it means that when you write in English in a easy way like what should I what should I do writing reading speaking and only with one word described full form you write it, like one one word. Then your main native language will not be improved. Because the way you speak English, it is the way you speak Russian language too. Because they are connected between and it is bilingual mind. When you are degenerated in, in English, then you will be a bit degenerated in Russian language too. Because uh, it is uh, like connection between languages. It is all kind of circle that you should go and uh, it is kind of you are going down for, for a bit of time, for a small portion of time. It is, uh, I want to say, if you learn one more language, you will go down again and you will not uh, increase your vocabulary in your own language so much. But then when you will be in a position that you learn, uh, you have learned already 10,000 words of English or another another foreign language. Here, if you are English person, uh, yes, uh, you will learn Spanish, for example, or, 
or Malaysian language, Deutschland, Deutsch language, then you will understand that uh, right now your vocabulary of Deutsch is 10,000 and you can relate the same vocabulary in your own language and you connect, uh, you can connect them and your bilingual mind will start growing. It will be like a uh, here growing. It is like uh, it always follows your the, the fragile, fragilest, fragilest link in your uh, in your uh, word constructions i don't know how to describe it need to maybe to paint picture to you about it but i hope you understand me it is w for example if your english native english vocabulary is 20000 words and your language that you want to learn is uh, like 100 words then your main language will be dropped to the level almost of 100 or maybe 1000 because uh, you you will be drowned to this level and uh, it is how our mind works we we remember things that we repeat a lot and when we repeat a lot of small vocabulary and thesaurus then your own language even starts to be this way too if you don't practice your own language and i didn't practice it uh, in the past okay but this talk about not this bilingual mind it is about my progress in journaling next year was a year of uh, 2019 and i start ah about 2018 i started to ask myself also some philosophical questions like why do I live, what do I want, what should I do next and I started to ask these questions, I started to work also as a children entertainer and I started to ask myself what do I want as an animator and children entertainer on this channel too and I was collecting ideas, okay, and it is about practice, I started to ask myself questions and answer to them on this journal and another journals too 2019 it is the big growth because i started at least i started uh, to do live streaming in russian language and i collected so huge amount number of uh, of uh, of stories of my life because i started to communicate with people and other people and i started to be in some of the naughty and sometimes dirty and uh, sometimes uh, cringy stories i started to appear inside of them because uh, sometimes uh, people wanted to kill me sometimes people wanted to run for after me and sometimes i was uh, doing some crazy stuff on the streets and uh, I were communicate I was communicating with uh, 25,000 people in Russian language and it was a really huge huge amount of uh, of images inside of my mind it is mental visualization that I found inside of my mind it's like pictures that I have right now that I can use to describe different things it is my imagination work and in 2019 I started to do the this streaming and in November of 2019 I started to do writing in my job at my job when I was working as an auto doorman and I was doing this type of this type of uh, things I was doing different uh, different uh, one moment need to drink water uh, different uh, notes as a da Vinci as Leonardo da Vinci d did and uh, he do you know how many Leonardo da Vinci have done he have done ha he has done more than 7000 notes and it is only that we found imagine only maybe we didn't find uh, like 20000 maybe we found everything but uh, okay let's our imagination work and uh, 2019 I started to write stories short stories on my job and I my my English and my way of journaling is improved I will show you right now one moment one moment one moment one moment I will be here 
in a few seconds. Here is my notes, uh, and here is Uncle Uncle Sam. Look, nice, amazing. Thank you for Jackie. And uh, here is uh, my notes that I was writing. Firstly, it was like a short and this type of writings. And finally, when I worked like 80 days on this job, I started to write bigger. It is 89th day of my job. Look, look, compare, compare only one moment. This, like, and this, two different things. And this is how it improved, really. 90 days of daily journaling. And after that I continued doing it and uh, look at this. Uh, another day, 108, 6th of March. 6th of March, yes, and uh, 2020. It is my last day, by the way, in... <gasps> it is my last day on this job. Wow, that's interesting. And uh, I started to do writing, I started to do journaling, and it become, it became better, much, much, much more better. And now I do journaling too, but I do this in a different way. I started to do writing books. I don't want to say that I write books in a way like I'm so God and uh, so extremely good in writing. I want to say that I started to do kind of writing out oh, this way. You can look at this. It is Russian language, but here is English. Yes, I was uh, doing kind of uh, <laughs> preparation for this talk too. And uh, also one more Russian language. Uh, I I've have written 2000 words almost in for, for, for 45, 50 minutes. It means I write with the same speed as a good writers do, as a good writer do. I don't write it uh, with a good vocabulary as enthusiasts as writers have, but I do this in the same speed and pace. That's amazing. It means that I can create stories that comes first. By the way, in in uh, what we read. We don't write books because of, oh, wow, that's so interesting words. If you want to write, if you want to read words, you can open dictionary and read words. Yes, we read it because of stories and because we want to learn it emotionally or practically or uh, maybe mentally like mindset. And we do this because of it. Yes, emotionally for entertainment or maybe Yes, entertainment a bit, because when you are sad, you want to be in a happy mood, you read because of it. If you are in a good mood and you want to be like a euphoria, then you read it because of it. Uh, to mindset, mindset it is uh, when you want to change your way of thinking, it is kind of seven skills of highly efficient people. And uh, one more it is for skills, we read uh, kind of how to do gardening or maybe Stephen King on writing, how to write a book, yes, or maybe we want to learn also vocabulary. Sometimes when we read these types of book like Shining, we do, I do this to improve my vocabulary and way of writing, because uh, the more you, you, you read, the better you write, but uh, it is uh, two parallel parallel processes. It is, uh, you will not improve your writing if you don't write. You can improve your writing by reading a lot, but it is much, much more better if you read and uh, write at the same time. It is kind of, you try, you try parallelly imitate of your, of your current uh, writer that you read. Oh, Jesus, I like it a lot. <laughs> Please, if you watch my videos, uh, I'll, I watched my. Uh, you have been watching my videos for a long period of time. Let me know that uh, my vocabulary is really growed, and I mean that uh, grew, grow, grow has grown, and I feel it that my way of speaking is different. It's, it is not like it was before. 
All right, now I have it in a better way. I'm so glad, I'm so excited about it. And uh, yes, it is about writing and uh, the way we write. And uh, the more we practice, the better we are on our skills. Next thing, what I want to say, you should start writing, writing at least in a journal. I don't want to say to you to start writing like a book, a novel or autobiography. Maybe it will be not super interesting to you because you have another you have another trait in your life. Maybe you have something else. But I I highly recommend and I don't want to force you, but I want to highly recommend to start uh, to start er, to start writing in journal, journaling at least five minutes a day five minutes a day it is nothing really but you will grow mentally mindsetfully and skillfully and about this stuff about growth i want to repeat no every person wants to write today i uploaded this type of video in russian language and i already have one comment of one person, I am lazy to write. Yes, it means that no, every person will do this. It means that you can be better than this person. But no need to compare with people and other people. But at least you will understand that you will be not in a... You, you know that pyramid of people in, a, in India, that this uh, segregation of... Uh, of classes and uh, segregation of classes uh, in uh, in old India in Russian language this caste caste it is how it called it is a kind of in a low level it is uh, people intouchable next it is warriors next it is kind of more 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 and on the highest level it is brahmanes and uh, they are people who are with a super nice mindset and they are almost philosophers and so like a well known about our life and if you want to grow not in a intouchable who always like a sweeps sweeps floors and uh, yes sweeping floor is a nice thing by the way it is a so important thing to our life but if you want to grow your life to the level of at least Brahman, uh, no, Brahman, like warrior, or maybe some of the higher level of uh, of uh, current life of maybe businessman, entrepreneur, or maybe a, a good professional in your field, then you should start writing. Why? 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 Question. Because first, you will learn your stuff better. Right now, if you are architect, if you are healthcare medicine worker, yes, hello, Jackie, Jackie, and uh, if you are maybe a lawyer, start writing something on a paper about your job, like a book. Maybe it will be fictional book, maybe a non-fictional, what you prefer more about your job. Start to write it. And uh, if you are architect, it is easy to show you. I imagine dice. A small dice, yes? And uh, imagine it and try to describe it from different angles. Try to describe it if you are an architect. Try to describe it like uh, what, you, what you see. What's the angle of it? What, what's, what's the meaning of this dice? Small dice. And uh, if you can describe it in a 10-paged book then you are really nice person as an architect to describe these things really 10 pages uh, it is almost uh, 400 4, of words or maybe less okay and uh, you you can describe it this small thing some some person can say it is only dice and some you it it has some walls and uh, that's all but someone dive into it better and he will speak from the view of a policeman. It is like a maybe accidental, accidental, um, what's the name of it? Accidental thing, thing that uh, was used by a victim 
and a victim or maybe a killer yes and you can imagine it and uh, if you will look at a woman maybe a woman will use it if you will look at a designer cloth designer you can say that woman will use it as a necklace yes and uh, it is uh, different types of how to describe things first you will learn more about your profession next you will have a better structurized thoughts as a english learner i want to say it like abruptly period and uh, i want to say it really loud loud not in a way that i will shut up uh, shut, shut and uh, i will uh, yell right now but i want to make it underlined and bold and uh, so with accents in on it you will do better structurized thoughts really because uh, before i started to write my own stories i noticed only two weeks ago i didn't do writing stories i was doing a bit but not in a so frequent way i started to do this in a daily basis and my english is improved in a grammar way Yes, I know that I can improve it more. And in a way that it was, it appeared with new saturation, in new colors, in a new paints, and uh, it is like a canvas with uh, when I can paint some of the maybe uh, Mona Lisa. Yes, and uh, it appeared in a better way, like uh, really visual visualized way and with better imagination. My imagination is improved, not English, I think. And uh, I said it, uh, imagination is how our mindset works. And I improved my mindset and imagination both. It is what, why should you do this? And uh, third thing that you will have if you will start journaling today is improved. Your, your imagination will be improved and artistic, well well shaped what do i mean with artistic well shaped it is when i imagine story you write about your life autobiography maybe how was your day you write like i was uh, going to cafe and then i met M maria and i was communicating with this maria and uh, it was a good conversation but she looked so puzzled when i when i s when I asked her a question, will you marry me? And uh, right now, you can imagine that uh, w you can write in your journal not only your thoughts, but try to make believe, to play make believe, and to play as a Maria, to try to act as a Maria. What will Mary think about what did she think? In this way before saying this and after saying you you said it you can imagine it the expectation of your and your mind her her mindset and you can imagine it and uh, it improves your empathy and you become more empathetical next uh, you will be more artistic you will you will play sometimes you can imagine like oh i marry well, uh, he said to me like uh, will you marry me and i answered to, to him yes sh yes but firstly I need to need to do some challenges <laughs> or maybe something else okay and you can start to do playing and you can create characters that it is like a fiction fiction writing but from your own life and it makes you more, not psycho, but uh, psychotherapist and uh, more, more understandable of what people think. And you can use empathy in the next time and you will understand them better. It is three things that you will have. I hope you enjoyed this video a lot and uh, it is more structured than any, any of my video. And uh, I will upload also a good, a good thumbnail for it, maybe. And we'll write a good title that will be catchy, maybe. You can share this video to your friends if you are interested in. But I understand that maybe in, in two months my content will be improved and I will speak better. And it will be really well 
well shooted videos. Really like in a way that I want to be and then I can start to do editing of these videos, at least like a raw, raw editing or maybe something like this. Maybe I will not. Maybe I will do presentations and I will show you, you presentations. It will be a good stuff. But okay, thank you a lot for watching. Leave in the comment section below what do you think about this stuff and do you journal or not? And do you want to start journaling today? And uh, if you want to start journaling today, then I highly recommend to use uh, non-sponsored uh, non non uh, website. It is the most dangerous app. So nice. You have five minutes to write your message and uh, or maybe 60 minutes. And if you will not, if you will stop for three seconds, then everything will be deleted from what you write, uh, what you have written. And it's so like, really, you need to write, 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 write. And the same with, you can uh, configure and custom it with, uh, with uh, ca counts of words, like you need to write 500 words uh, or 1,666 uh, 1, or something like this. Okay, thank you a lot. Write your stories improve cell daily and journal your life and document your past to create a better future.